naar eer en geweten. Het kwartet van het leven. De Joker. Matthew Osman and the bass player in the band. Swipe. What are the three most important things in life? Freedom. Any kind of freedom. Just the freedom to do what you want. Your friends. Um, and small animals. I think I think the, com- the combination of freedom, friends and small animals would probably... Uh, Oh, can I include Indian food? Can I have four? That's my combination. The, the strange thing is you, you don't name music one mm. of the three important things in life. Yeah, it'd be too easy to say that. It's really, it is really important to me, but I don't know whether I'd swap music for my friends. Uh. It's kind of, I, I take that as kind of red, you know what I mean? Music just is what I do, so it's not, it's not like an external thing. Is it a job? Some of it is. But most of it isn't. The music isn't at all. This is. You know what I mean? It's, but it's kind of... It's quite a nice job. You know? No, it is. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's really strange being here at an, at an airport because before I was in a band, I used to work at the airport. And I've done every shitty job you can imagine. I've, I'm looking down here at the car park attendant and I used to do that at Gatwick and I used to be a, a cleaner in an airport and I used to clean aeroplanes. And... You know, flying to Amsterdam and being interviewed is is better. How did you drive your parents crazy when you're adolescent? Um, practicing the bass. Practicing the bass is is really really annoying because you know I was pra- learning to play and I wasn't pl- playing with anyone, so they just had. Dum 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 And then my friends would come around and we were just terrible, you know, that must have been awful. Yeah. Probably, that's probably the only way I was quite a, a mild mannered adolescent. No big rouser. No, not really. No. Trouble. No, I was quite a calm child. I was. <laughs> I can, I can imagine. <laughs> um, did, were, were they happy when you said, um, I'm going to be in this band? Mm. Um, not really, I don't think. You know, it's kind of... My family, is, I, th- I think, are still bemused by the fact that I actually make money out of it. It's, my my, my favourite one is my, is my grandfather, who's is convinced it's some kind of scam. He always sits me down and says, and they're still giving you money for this? And I say, yeah, you know, I'm earning, earning a good living. And someone pays you for this all the time. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. you've bought a house... And he just, he thinks I'm conning someone, he thinks it's great. He's very impressed, but he's, he's bemused by it, he really is. What's your worst character trait? Um, being in a fucking terrible mood in the mornings, probably. It's kind of, I've got, I've got a reputation because we, we always spend mornings in the airport. And I just disappear off with a pack of fags and a daily mirror and I won't talk to anyone. And I get mocked for that. Um, I don't know, talking too much about myself, probably. I don't know, you'd have to ask the others. I'm sure they'd come up with a million things, <laughs> a million annoying things that I do. Is, is, is being in a band a bit like being in a marriage? Um, I think it's more like a, a family thing, actually. You know the way that in a family you just kind of you learn to live with with everyone's imperfections. You know what I mean? I'm sure there's a million things about me that are annoying, and there's things about the rest of the band that are annoying. But if you have like a common purpose and a common goal, it becomes pretty unimportant. We, I mean, we've we've spent so much time together that we don't really row about stuff at all. I think we know each other well enough not to not to have to. Have you ever been hurt by anything the press wrote about you? Not, not particularly, because I'm pretty... You know, I, I went into it with my eyes open. And, I, you know, it's kind of... We had so much good stuff written about us, I knew bad stuff was going to come as well. Um, 
Someone said, uh, actually, someone said in, in, in the last interview we do that I was wearing a pair of crappy leather slippers. And I was pretty hurt about that because they were, they were very expensive Nicole Fari slip ons. So, yeah, that was, that was a heartbreaking moment. So, do you still read it at all? Um, it depends how long it is. <laughs> if it's pretty short, I read it. If they've been really nice, I read it. But, you know, if you're getting slagged off, I really can't be bothered with it, to be honest. You know what I mean? If I don't like the first line, I'm not going to give up. Check the photos. Make sure your hair looks all right. And that's that. <laughs> 